Hey there guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It is a new feature in Roblox and it is something that's going to make your Roblox game building life much easier. You don't have to take my word for it. It is a statement that comes directly from Roblox. This feature is still a beta feature. So first let's go to file. We're going to go to beta features and we're going to have to enable this beta feature. It is called Dragger QOL Improvements. And in case you're wondering what QOL means, means quality of life improvements. So again, this statement came directly from Roblox and it is a quality of life improvement for all Roblox developers. Let's now click save and we're gonna click on restart. Once you have installed the new beta feature, you're gonna have this little message right here. Just click on got it. You're gonna see now that each part has its own built-in ruler. So remember before when we used to have to always carry a ruler around with us to measure the distance when, whenever we want to move a part in our game? That is all now in the past. We no longer need to do that. We have built-in rulers now. So this is one of the items in this release update that's going to make our life much easier. Another thing about this release is, remember the days when you used to have to move the mouse cursor up here to select like a select, a move, a scale, or a rotate? you no longer need to do that. Now you can press the number keys. So if you press the number one key, it goes to select. If you press the number two key on your keyboard, it is a move. Number three is a scale and number four is to rotate. So we no longer need to move our mouse cursor up here. We can just press the number one, two, three, and four key to select, move, scale, and rotate respectively. Another quality of life improvement. Let's say if we wanna move a part, I'm going to press the number two key on my keyboard to select move. And now I'm going to select a part, for example, this ball right here, and then I'm going to move it. So as soon as I move it, you see there is a number, a meter that tells me how far I have moved the part. So for example, I have moved this part 6.343 studs from its original position. What if I just want to move it five studs above the, uh, the uh, original position? I can just click in this box right here and enter five, hit enter, and now it has moved five studs from the original position. With this new feature, you can now accurately position this part wherever you want, easily. This release has so many different features that we're not going to cover them all in this tutorial. But I'm just going to give you like a little peek at uh, some of the things you can do with this new release. And if you'd like to learn more, you can install the beta feature and play around with it and do some more research to learn more about all the different features that comes with this new release. The last and final thing I want to point out with this new release is when you drag a part, you have a little window here, the hotkey help, and it tells you what hotkey you can press to do certain things. For example, if I press the T key to tilt the part towards the camera, here we go, T, T, it tilts the part towards the camera. Press R to rotate around normal. Now if I press and hold down the Alt key to use initial orientation. So say if I move this part around this thing here, right? You, you can see the, the orientation changes. Now, if you don't want the orientation of the part to change when you move the part, just press and hold the Alt key. And now the orientation of the part does not change. The Shift key to enable snapping. So if I press the Shift key, there is a snapping ruler now. So when I move the part, it snaps to the next snapping location. And the H key is just to toggle on and off this help window. So if I press H, it's gone. Press it again, it comes back. Again, there are many other features in this release we're not going to go over. And you can install the beta feature and discover them for yourself. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.